Biovivacious. I am Sebastian. Biovivacious is a YouTube channel dedicated to clear fundamentals of biosciences and make the subject exciting. Let us begin today's discussion on gluconeogenesis. You already know that gluconeogenesis is synthesizing carbohydrate from non-carbohydrate precursors. With the sound knowledge of glycolysis by now, let us see this pathway. So, in many ways, gluconeogenesis is a reversal of glycolysis. Why do I say that it is a reversal of glycolysis? So there can be several arguments proposed. Number one is glucose is synthesized. Whereas in glycolysis it is glucose is catalyzed, catabolized, broken down. Here it is glucose is synthesized. Second argument that can be given is in gluconeogenesis ATP is consumed okay whereas in glycolysis we synthesized ATP and here we will be consuming almost six ATP equivalents in order to produce glucose so therefore ATP is consumed the third argument is about NADH so we know that NADH is oxidized to NADH is oxidized to NAD plus whereas in glycolysis it was just the reversal and another argument that we can give is pyruvate is converted to glucose pyruvate is converted to glucose whereas in glycolysis we knew that glucose is converted to pyruvate so these are some of the arguments to prove or to show that gluconeogenesis is exactly the reversal of glycolysis we need to have a holistic picture on this. Is it exactly the reversal of glycolysis? When you examine gluconeogenesis, you will see that it is not exactly the reversal of glycolysis. Mainly for two reasons. The first reason is, look at the energetics. In a cellular condition, glycolysis will, will have a minus delta G of about 84 kilojoules per mole okay so minus 84 kilojoules per mole so if you want to have gluconeogenesis to make it a reversal it is going to be an uphill process so you know that exactly it cannot be reversed the overall energy change in glycolysis uh, gluconeogenesis it is minus 25 kilojoules per mole Still it is negative, then only it is feasible. Otherwise, glycolysis is more towards the formation of lactate production. Whereas, gluconeogenesis, we are overcoming that negative delta G and still with a negative delta G of minus 25 kilo joules per mole. So, therefore, it is not exactly a reversal. And secondly, you look at the regulatory mechanisms. Gluconeogenesis and glycolysis, they have independent pathways for its regulation. Different allosteric molecules for its regulation. They are reciprocally regulated. So these two arguments shows that they are not exactly the reversal. Only certain steps can be reversed, but the entire pathway cannot be reversed. That is mainly because of three steps of glycolysis. One is the hexokinase mediated step. In the second is in the PFK mediated step. And in the third is in the pyruvate kinase mediated step. So you know that um, these three steps have huge exchange of energy. Okay, so therefore the first one is about minus 16.7, the second one is about minus 14.6 uh, or some, and pyruvate kinase is almost minus 30, 31 kilojoules of 
energy exchange. Because of this, the reaction is not exactly the reversal, only certain steps are reversed. Now we will see these unique reactions, how these unique reactions or unique enzyme catalyzed reactions are bypassed. So we are going to focus on the bypass reactions of gluconeogenesis.